Time for my Platinum ZV review. I'm in here at the main controller. This is my bedroom. Uh, badass stat. I love it. I think it's the best stat I've ever had. I had the uh, Nest before this. This is way cooler. Uh, as you can see, we got the zone temperature here. Uh, well, first of all, let's start out with what we got installed. We got a variable speed compressor and a fully modulating gas valve. So we're fully variable heat and cool. 97% Platinum ZV American Standard stuff with a zone system that also has static pressure sensors to adjust the fan speed and it will always coordinate the compressor or gas valve according to requested demand, load, and static pressure. So it's pretty awesome and, and it's worked great for the last week but uh, show you guys some of the stuff we can do here. So I'm looking at my master bedroom settings now but I can go right here and scroll through the zones and so I'm seeing uh, May, which is our daughter, her area, systems idle, her zone temperature 71, it's set to heat to 70, it's a fairly warm day. Uh, if it was an area, you see the compressor speed, which is an awesome setting. So we got uh, the gym office area, uh, there, I can go here to the menu and do a lot of cool stuff. You see we got the weather, uh, we got the five day forecast, uh, we can get the radar. So, amazing stat. Uh, I like this little option here. We can go here to service, technician access, proceed, system report. So, requested capacity, delivered compressor speed, airflow, excess air, return air temperature, discharge air temperature. It's got uh, everything about that zone. So right now the master's damper is completely closed. 37 humidity. May's area's damper is 100% open. So I didn't give that thing uh, access to uh, turn the unit on or off. It works off the other two zones. So it's uh, fully open and one of the other two zones turn on. It'll give a little heat over there too. So there's that stat. Back to home. I'll show you the other two zone stats. Here we have the gym office zone controller, also touch screen. That controls, you know, my little office and gym area. Pretty wide open, so got it there by the returns. And then we got these bedrooms over here, which is our daughter's, both controlled off of her stat. Here, zone three. And uh, it's been staying pretty dang accurate, I will say. All the zones are pretty accurate. Doesn't run much. Don't ever hear it. Very comfortable. Never get blasted with hot air. I really love it. And uh, here we are here. At the furnace. What we have is, there's the furnace, uh, coils there, I've wrapped it just to look cool. I, I think it's just beautiful. Uh, I got a little carried away, I started over there on the ductwork, just wrapping it, and uh, it's wrapped all up and down, bottom, left, right, back. Uh, I got, I, first guy I ever saw do that was... Uh, I believe it was Nicholas Rowan so thank you for the idea because it sure looks good uh, so I didn't do the condensate standard but this is what we're gonna start doing in our company every time And also, when we do repairs, we're not really going to uh, just put a coupling back. We're going to build them like this so we, for easy access in the future. Uh, got it coming out of the coil. 
in. It's all downhill. 90% of drains in here. I got its off valve. So, and I got the, the P trap on the opposite side over here because I want to blow through that way. If I blow out any shit, I want to blow it that way outside, not back into my coil. But I got an off valve, so I can't suck anything in. So I can open it, you know, blow either way. Just decide which, which way I'm gonna blow through with my on, off and on valves. But great system, zone panel up there. Uh, it, I think the most amazing part about it that really impresses me about the Platinum ZV uh, when paired with a zone system is this static pressure. So here's the tube going into the uh, supply plenum. And uh, we got temperature sensors in the supply plenum. And then it goes over here to the return and there's the tube going over to the return. So it's adjusting itself and sizing its zones and deciding how much pressure to give each zone based off of static pressure which I think is a game changer and where the future's at that's just really cool to me uh, coil I put a SS2 in there uh, well there it is that's it's the Platinum ZV so you know you got your dampers here now that zone over there the one that's going out I actually put a manual damper there before the uh, modulating damper because that zone just being at the end of the coil got just too much air uh, even when the zone opened I just wanted to be able to adjust it as that's my daughter's area and it's always had trouble so I just wanted a little extra control in case and especially it being into the coil with not a lot of room in here all I got is this side and this side to work off of uh, the other side that's filled up too so there it is insulation uh, we also still got to put a secondary pan under there uh, but this is really cool because so we have a, a zone damper which is also open and closed modulating for every damper uh, check in zone. we got our new condenser just finished brazing it in uh, got to use our new it set it for braze and it does uh, two to four psi so And I'm running through the uh, settings here on the uh, condenser itself, and it's telling you information. So currently, my compressor is pulling 404 watts of power. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. This Platinum ZV fully modulating system paired with a zone system is cooling. I don't know what it's cooling right now, but it's not taking much power. We're talking a couple light bulbs. So we can go through the settings.